Okay, stop scrolling and if you're preparing for the NCLEX, then you want to experience this type of question. So this NCLEX question of the day is on blood product administration. Now, this is a really important topic because I have had students tell me that they have seen blood product administration on NCLEX and this is one of the ways that they have seen it. So let's do the question. A nurse is caring for a client with a hemoglobin of 6.5 and has an order to transfuse one unit of packed red blood cells. Place the following blood administration steps in the correct order. Now, this can be a drag and drop situation or it can also be a select all that apply where the question asks you which of the following steps would be appropriate to take. Now I want you to pause your screen, answer the question, let me know in the comments and then start it up again so we can run through the rationale. Okay, so rationale. Step one is E. You're going to verify a consent for blood administration has been signed by the patient and is placed in the patient chart. Step two is going to be option A. With another registered nurse, verify the client's identification, physician order, and patient blood type. Step three, so once we know that everything is verified with another RN and we are good to go on this blood, we're going to move to option D, which is assess the patient's vitals, including temperature. Step four is going to be option B, so you're going to obtain a patent IV access of 18 to 20 gauge. Now, you might have a patient that already has that IV access. Just make sure that it's patent and make sure that it's bigger than a 20 gauge. 20 is the smallest that you can have for blood administration. And step five would be option C, where we prime our Y tubing with 0.9% normal saline and we spike the one unit of packed red blood cells. Now, these there are two things in this option that I want you to always remember. When we administer blood, we use Y tubing. That has been asked. I've seen it in questions. And second thing is you can only administer blood products with 0.9% normal saline. They try to trick you there. Don't fall for it. You got this. I hope you learned something today. Follow for more.